Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> here he is. Take a look. The two-headed Vic. It's time for New New Sports where you get your sports on. That's right. Grab your jock strap. Put it on real tight. Clinch your cheeks. It's time for New New Sports. Yeah, run around in your gym socks, stinky. <laughs> You know what? I think, you know what, for, for all of you guys who really go like, you know, that's not the sports report we're used to. I think it's his most entertaining time is when he gets to this part. See, while I try to enjoy him imparting good news and goodwill to everybody, hope and faith, he waits to dump on my sports report because intro. Well, I, you know, mostly I rely because I knew today that the good news would come from within the sports, Vic, mm-hmm. and within the hot picks. That's why we have, see, it's what they call balance. That's right. Balance in the programming. Right. I get you, I shock you a little bit. Chase you, know, you away. You know, get <laughs> Make you, a you leave long. the room. But then you get to, now you know that wonderful bodies and eye candy is coming and wonderful sports talk about all the young honey buns that honey. was balling the other day. The honey buns. He's using the term honey buns. I Y'all can't know what a that. honey bun is? Well, man, you know, a little shorty is, you know, it's a little bit Little shorties. Yeah. Little it's shorties all the fine little shorty that. ballers. Right. <laughs> Coming okay. with something. Well, the true, something, something. well, the true shorties are not short if you look at uh, <laughs> this wonderful trophy for Texas A&M. And I'm going to say this, congratulations first and foremost to the Aggies, y'all. Right? I, mean, I got to give yeah. it to them. Bottom line, they put it down, man. Yeah. Now, let me say this first. Let me tell you why I, I really, it's a celebration, but I think it also went away from something that was not as acknowledged as much. We were so busy watching Skylar Diggins try to lead Notre Dame to a win. It was like her and a few of her teammates were doing it. Fine she some fine mama Right. Now, she made some critical or untimely errors at the last, but she was trying to make it happen. Kobe Bryant style. I, I may make some mistakes, but I'm trying to make you win. Yeah. But Danielle Adams. I'm sorry, man. I, t- I said Baby Shaq. I said you guys got to watch she out was for Baby Shaq. Else. Agile, quick on her feet. Yes. Working that weight. Yes, sir. You know, the the female version of Big Baby. Hey, and I, and I say this because she's 6'1", and at 6'1", 230, she's playing center. And all they did, it reminded me more of Charles Barkley in a, in, a, in the female sense because she was basically, give me the ball underneath. Once I, no one could touch me. The, you couldn't get close to me. And she scores half the points, gets nine rebounds, 30 points. It's almost she went kind of under the radar. And I said, I believe that the day, game was going to be led by who they're going to wrap the celebration around. I think everybody wanted Skylar. I did. I voted for her because she looks good. She is good. And There's a lot talented. of heart the way she plays, you know. The, the, uh, and, and it's not like Notre, Notre Dame didn't get hip hmm. and really ad- adjusted to her, giving her more pressure because they had the long arms and the height on her. Right. But it's how she still managed to score around and in between them. Yes, sir. You know, uh, just phenomenal, phenomenal, just effort yeah. and hustle. And, when you, and for her size to think that she ran. She played Vic. Yeah, thirty nine out of forty minutes. That's what I'm saying. And what they okay. were and what they were saying it was okay. interesting because the one thing that Texas A and M couldn't do against, um, I guess, against Notre Dame that they got away with with Stanford is Stanford's a big team and they do what you, they call more half court. So they got to do a lot of pressing and then knew that they can actually time it and then move to press, come back, but they know they can extend the pressure. But with Notre Dame, they got two wonderful a point guard, off guard, who can get around them, which makes them work harder. I, you saw the exhaustion with about two to three minutes left. Texas A&M coming across half court, and I'm going, Notre Dame's already back on defense. So you saw that they were fresher, Notre Dame. But they just, you know, the game handles at the point guard, and Skyler was doing the best she can. But when you can come down court from Texas side and just dump it into the low man in the point, post and low woman, Daniel, she made it so easy in converting the points to me. I said, you guys could have done this well, in the first well, half of the game. It's just very interesting because it was a close game, really. Yeah, very close. It was a really close game, and it was just amazing the difference in styles. Right. But just good basketball to watch. Which leads me to this point before we get into this question. You look at some of the numbers we have here. It shows that it's one of the top shooting performances of uh, a championship for women. All time. You know, you look at it, you go, wow, they, their rating is very high. It's the fifth best shooting percentage, uh, 54.7%. So it's, it was a good and well-played game. The men, I hate to say, took a back seat to me. I, I, I don't this. mind saying that. Yeah, I, they did. They took a back seat. Yes, <laughs> take a seat back. <laughs> Our back seat. Right. Take a seat back. Right. Now let's let me, get some back. You know, you, now, now let me go to this other part. 